place, but the fundamental fact is, and the reason I can die happy is, I did, in fact, make the world a better place. So, you know, if, if that's, and Adam Smith says, that is how fantastic a creature a human being can be. And we've turned society into the kind of engine that makes that possible for people, makes it possible for workers, not just kings, but like ordinary workers have the power to be that glorious a creature, uh, and we're, we're buying baubles with it. Okay. Yeah, uh, should I, is, is there a rule, should I be taking uh, students? Is it, it's, it's a club, right? <laughs> students first. Okay, are, are, you, are you up for lunch or something like that? I'm not a student. Yeah. Well, I am, sort of. Well, we're having dinner again. All right, okay, good. All right, I'll, I'll take your question. Okay, uh, can you just repeat your explanation for the origins of the conception of corruption in the West? Oh, um, there was a... Uh, I'm not a historian. I don't have the details, but there actually was a specific incident, uh, which is really quite cool. So there was a fellow named uh, Samuel Pepys. This is how you can you can look it up, but if you want to look up Pete, that's how it's spelled. And he was uh, as a volunteer, like like there's no there was, there was no payroll uh, back then. Right? There, was, there were deals made between kings and barons and that sort of thing, but there were no contracts. Well, I don't know if there weren't contracts, but there wasn't there wasn't a payroll. But anyway, so he volunteers to administer the navy payroll. And he's collecting a commission for paying the sailors. The sailors show up, and he says, uh, "Yeah, I'll be, I'll be with you in three years. You need it tonight. Uh, that I can, I can give you the expedited service. I can give you the FedEx package, but, but it's going to cost." So he was doing that, and then somebody who worked for the Pope said, uh, "That is disgusting. It's nauseating." So the original idea of corruption. Uh, was actually, um, I think it, it makes sense etymologically, the idea of corruption is the idea of going rotten, spoiling, uh, and becoming the sort of thing that would make you sick to your stomach. So he said this is corrupt. Um, meaning, at the time, what that meant, when he said it's corrupt, what that meant is this makes me sick, this is sick. Uh, and Pepys responded aggressively, he said, uh, not, I, not one penny has passed through my hands that was contrary to the interest of the king. I serve at the pleasure of the king. Uh, I have not made one penny, not one penny has been uh, contrary to the interest of the king. And he said, and by the way, like, you sell time off in purgatory, right, for, you know, like, you, you actually sell that. You charge a fee for that. Like, you're calling me corrupt. And you're, you're, this is beyond belief. So that was, so that that was the, and this was in the 1500s, I believe, uh, and uh, and that that's really where uh, corruption becomes a political topic in in England and in the West. Generally. Yeah. All right, if we have time for one more question. I think. No, we don't. We don't. Oh, okay. Well, that's our time. Help me thank our guests. I wish you uh, I wish you good luck.